Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. I'm inside of WordPress. I'm going to create a new blank page and then show you how easy it is to design that page using Oxygen. So here we are inside of Oxygen. I'm going to start off uh, in the fundamentals section. I'm going to add a section to the page. I'm going to put some padding on it on the top and bottom. And then I'm going to add in a heading. We'll just call this our, this will be our logo. We'll adjust that font size, and then we're going to set this to float on the left. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and add a menu. So I'll make a div, float this to the left, and then um, I'm going to add some margins. So as you can see in the more section, you can just edit uh, all the CSS properties that you'd want. Uh, and then in here, I'm going to add in a text link. These will be on menu links. I'll just call it main menu link. This will be a class. So whatever I do to one of them is going to apply to all of them. I'll add some margin, and then I'll just style the text a little bit. Let's center this vertically, and let's make the color a little nicer, have it like a nice light gray. Home about features, documentation, uh, and support. Uh, so there's our menu, and then I'll add a buy button over on the right. So for that, um, I'm going to add a link wrapper. And then in the link wrapper, I'm going to put an icon, and I'm going to put uh, some text. So I'm going to set the icon to float to the left. Uh, and then the text is also going to float to the right. Um, I'm going to put some spacing between these, let's say 15 pixels. I'm going to add a cart icon. It's going to be an add to cart button. Add to, or let's we'll call it buy now. Um, we're going to set the background of this link wrapper to blue. There's a nice blue, and then we'll set the text color to white and the icon color to white. We'll go up to the link wrapper. I'll add some padding. And then let's position this a little bit more nicely so it's centered. Okay, and there it is. Now we probably want this to float to the right, and we'll just add some border radius to make it look a little cleaner. Oh, okay, cool, and that is how easy it is to uh, build something from scratch. That's how easy it is to build a header from scratch using Oxygen. So if you know CSS, that's great. Um, you can do it this way. Uh, and then you have all, all the things here in the, in the tree so you could reorder your links. Um, yeah. So let's say you don't want to do this. Though. Let's say you wanted to just use a pre-built header and rapidly build your page. For that, you could go to the components section, and then we've got about 100 pre-built components, and we're going to be adding a lot more as well. So you could just choose from one of the uh, pre-built headers we already have in here. So I'm going to click Add Component to Page. And uh, now we got our header. Let's say I wanted to customize this. It's still built from the same fundamental elements uh, that we see up here. So to customize it, I could just click this, and I want to change the background color to blue. And then for these links, I want to change the link hover color uh, to blue as well. Oh, that's a background. I want to get the link hover color. There we go. Uh, so now I've customized our header. If we wanted to change where these link or just delete them, we could go like that, delete, we could add another, and link it to any URL or any page that already exists on the site. So let's say then we wanted to reuse this header on other pages of our site. What we could do is go over here, click Make Reusable, call this My Header. Now we could add this to other pages of our site, and if we update it in one place, it'll update it in all the places it's used. So now that we've got our header in here, let's go ahead and add a hero section. 
I'm just scrolling through these with the arrow keys. Uh, this is a good one. We customize everything about this. If I didn't want this here, I could just delete it. Um, if I wanted to change the text, we can use any Google font. So let's say I wanted to change this to, uh, I don't know, PT Sans. I could do that or some other font. Easy. Um, and that'll just change the font right here. But what we could do is go into our global font settings here. And then I'll set the text font to Source Sans Pro. And that's going to affect all the uh, like paragraph text, link text, that sort of thing. And then I'll change the display font. That's going to affect headings to, let's say, Arvo. Arvo is a cool font. Okay, there we go. So now all headings are going to be Arvo, and uh, these are all going to be Source Sans Pro. So that's how easy it is to customize the fonts. If I don't want this link, I can just delete it. If I want to edit this button, I can just write, buy it now. Uh, so there we go. Now let's add some testimonials. Okay, here is our testimonial section. And let's say we wanted to customize this testimonial text. Well, the testimonials uh, are styled using classes. So we can choose this testimonial image bottom text class. And this class applies to all of the text. So we could change the color here, and it's going to change the color everywhere. We could change the line height here and it's going to change the line height everywhere. So it's really easy to customize uh, these pre-built components exactly as you want. Uh, to finish up the page, we're going to go ahead and add a call to action section. Yeah, this is a good one right here, although I do want it to be blue. We'll just make this the same blue as uh, this link hover color right here. So I'm going to copy and paste this over to the background for this. And there we go. Uh, this button's cool. It's a transparent black background, so it's going to look good on whatever color you use. Right? I could make this orange and it'll still look fine. So. There is our um, call to action section, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a footer. And here we go. And if we want to change these links, it would just be a matter of, you know, if we delete this, if we didn't need it, add another one, and just click the link button to set the link URL. So I'm going to save this page. And then we're going to take a look at the front end. And that's how fast you can build a website out of pre-built components or a web page uh, using Oxygen. And also, these are all fully responsive. So, for example, if I go like this, uh, it's still going to look good. Um, all the pre-built components already have responsive styles built in. All right. Uh, again, this is Lewis from SoFly. Uh, thank you for watching. Oxygen is brand new. We're going to release it uh, on July 28th today in a few hours. So I hope you like it. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Email support at oxygenapp.com if you have any questions. It's $99 for a limited time. And for the next month, we're really just going to be listening to user requests, improving the features, fixing bugs, improving the uh, designs that come with the product, and really turning this into something that uh, is insanely great. Okay, thank you for watching.